Hi, Jeff Burke here from Broadband Forum. We are here in Warsaw, Poland for the Q1 2019 Broadband Forum meeting. Uh, the meeting's been going great. We've had lot of, lots of attendees, a lot of great keynotes, but one of the most important things has been a demonstration of NetConf Yang pulled together by the folks at Deutsche Telekom. I'm here with those demonstration leaders today. I have Christian Larson and Michael Abramson, and uh, these gentlemen have been really speaking to large crowds today, walking them through the demonstration overall. And I wanted to uh, first ask you, Michael, um, tell me why you're here at Broadband Forum. We're trying to showcase uh, an end-to-end -end vision of NetConf Yang to all kinds of network devices to, for producing services in the, that we do in the industry. So Christian, when you pull this uh, demonstration together today for people, um, maybe you can walk us through uh, some of the main concepts that you're trying to share. Right, so I, I think that the, the most important thing about uh, what we're trying to share here today is uh, the idea or vision of a unified management protocol stack, which is NetConf and Yang. Uh, over the years, we've identified that integration of different devices and device type has, is one of the uh, major pain points that you have as you're trying to implement new features or uh, enhance current functionality that you might have. When you have multiple different vendors uh, and uh, different device types, it just takes uh, a lot of time to implement the actual integration towards the devices rather than your business logic. So show me what you have here. What's, what uh, type of equipment are you showing? Right. So with us here today, we have uh, essentially a chunk of our network that we brought with us from the edge router through an access network down to uh, actual end hosts sort of that would be in your home. In a normal production environment, you'd have an edge router. It's a half rack, 100 kilo piece of equipment for mobility's sake. We've opted uh, for a virtual router that is running on this x86 server right over here. Uh, it is then connected with a fiber to an access switch. This access switch is the same type that we are using in uh, live networks. From this access switch, we then have uh, the last mile connection of sort to your home gateway. In this particular case, it's a one meter long copper cable, but it would typically be a fiber. Finally, from the home gateway, uh, we have this sort of LAN connection to a, uh, to a laptop where you can test your internet connectivity. Well, I know there's been lots of uh, NetConf Yang demos uh, for years here in the industry. What is so important and unique about this one today? Right, so uh, what we're trying to, to show here, uh, in addition to our vision of this single unified protocol stack, right, is uh, an implementation of a NetConf Yang server, which is running on the home gateways. So obviously, to manage things with NetConf Yang, you need a NetConf Yang server running on all, all the equipment. Uh, from a lot of the established vendors, they already implement their own, but we identified early on that uh, having a free and open source NetConf Yang server would be sort of vital to the industry uh, in accelerating the adoption of NetConf Yang and, and further uh, in standard models that we could use to, to configure uh, these devices. Understood. So uh, why is it so valuable to DT? What, what, uh, what makes this something that uh, you really want to champion? Right, so uh, I think it's for DT, it's the same as, as everyone else, right? We want to focus our development efforts on business logic, what, uh, bringing out new features and so on. And uh, as I was mentioning before, the integration cost and time typically dwarfs that of your actual application or business logic implementation. And that is why we believe it's so important to have a unified protocol stack that you can use across your entire network footprint uh, for configuration as well as operational state. Understood. And from an industry perspective, Michael, what, uh, are there any other things that you see in this demonstration that uh, you're looking to really inspire across the industry? Yes, I think that there is a lot of duplication of work, both within vendors and within operators for doing the same thing. So the same thing is being done over and over and over again. And this can be lessened by this kind of approach. Well, I wanted to congratulate both of you. I'm pulling together a great demo. I know that clearly the uh, the attendees appreciated it and asked you a lot of questions. And I am uh, confident that there's going to be a lot of momentum following up uh, beyond this demo in the meetings to come. So with that said, this is Jeff Burke signing off with the uh, leaders the, uh, of the NetConf Yang demo team from Deutsche Telekom.